A single processor system has three resource types X, Y and Z which are shared by three processes. There are five units of each resource type. Consider the following scenario where the column allocate alloc denotes the number of units of each resource type allocated to each process and the column request denotes the number of units of each resource type requested by a process in order to complete execution. Which of these processes will finish last? So let's say these are these three processes P0, P1 and P2. So the current allocation of these resources X, Y, Z to each of the processes is given to us. We know that there are five units of each resource type and what they have requested additionally. So apart from holding whatever has been allocated to them, they are additionally requesting for these particular processes. So now let's say that P0, P1, P2, we know what is the allocation. We also know what is the request. We know that there is a total of five resources of each type, each of five of X, five of Y and five of Z. We are aware of this. So if we know that how many are allocated, five of X are already allocated, one plus two plus two, four of Y are allocated and three of Z are already allocated. So what are the available resources right now? So if we compute this, we know that there are 5 of x, 5 of y and 5 of z. These many are already allocated. So by subtracting the available with the allocated, we get 5 minus 5 which is 0, 5 minus 4, 1 and 5 minus 3 which is 2. So these are the currently available resources. If we look at the requests of these processes, we can see that P1 is the process whose request can be managed by these available resources. We cannot manage the request of P0 because we have a 1 over here and also for P2 we have a 1 over here and we do not have these available resources. So we know that the only request that can be managed is for process P1. So if we give these available resources to P1 then P1 can complete its execution and after completing its execution it will release the already allocated resources to it. So if we assume that P1 has completed its, its uh, execution, initially the available was 0, 1 and 2. So now we had 0, 1 and 2 and since P1 has finished its uh, execution, it will release its resources. So these will get added to the available resources. So 2 plus 0 is 2. 0 plus 1 is 1 and 2 plus 1 is 3. So these, uh, these resources which have been released have been added to the available resources and now the available resources are these. If we look at which process request can be now entertained, we see that process P0, uh, request of process P0 can be managed with these available resources. For P2, it is requesting 2 of Y which cannot be managed currently by the available resources. So what we do is we give the available resources to process P0. So process P0 will finish its execution and now it will release its allocated resources also. So now when it will release its allocated resources, these will be added to the currently available resources. So it will become 3, 3 and 4. So now P0 has also finished, P1 has also finished and the available resources are 3, 3 and 4. Now we can see that the request of P2 can be managed by these available resources. So these resources can now be given to P2. So we can see that with this uh, scenario, P2 is the process which will finish last.